Just last year, it seemed as if the vision to turn the old High Street school into a co-housing development was a distant dream. But as of today, only four of the 22 units are left unsold. The Puricellis are a family involved in the development's construction and design. And they are also moving in. Well, it will be a really different experience because like living with other people, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how it will feel. I think on top of there I'm going to live, I think, or underneath there. Do you think you might live on the top floor, do you? I want to. <laughs> you want to. The site takes up almost one city block, bounded by High Street, Alva Street, Montpellier Street and the Dunedin Town Belt. The whole of the former school building itself will be repurposed to include three residential units and common areas for cooking, dining and recreation. The co-housing group purchased the building from Naitahu in 2013. Maya and Camilla were both born in New Zealand, but their parents are originally from Argentina, where communal living is more common. Now the fact that we're going to share and we're planning this together and developing it together is, is, really, is really appealing to us and it's always what we wanted to do. Yeah. The family first found out about the co-housing development from their friends. And then, yeah, the project basically started from there in the Mornington area. So, um, not because of this site, but in Mornington, uh, there were a few meetings. Uh, people that we knew told us, and you know, it's worth a mouth type of thing. And then there was a kind of project we always interested, um, even at university with my wife. Rooms in the former school are presently used as a meeting area and office, with one part being privately let. The units are priced from $550,000 and the whole project is expected to be completed in the next two years. Roselle Labone, The South Today.